All right, so SR9009. Yo, here's my hypothesis, and this is just, well, me, Seth Williams. <sighs> um, giving a overview of why I think this is probably the most revolutionary, versatile, product that will that's coming to market if the drug companies will allow it I tend to believe that it is far too useful in too many different areas and way too effective for them to consider the use of this just being honest it's not like them to bring versatile, universally effective drugs to market ever. Like, it just cuts into too many different profits um, from different avenues. Right now, they're actually dissecting this to see how they can make it more selective so that, so that it's not as systemically useful and I say that because of this SR9009 is an REV ERB agonist that speeds up our circadian clock and what that means is we have a cellular clock in our body this clock will actually determine when we Sorry about that, guys. But this will actually determine how fast a cell reproduces. Now, that clock is the biggest factor in aging. It's going to be your factor with disease. When we have this clock slow down, it's generally slowed by toxins. Think about how the body works and cellular reproduction can only go as fast as the body can reproduce these cells. So when sped up, my hypothesis, and this is completely contrary to everything that I've read, um, but my hypothesis says our internal healing, reproduction, and rebuilding from our DNA is being slowed down by toxins from our foods, from dehydration, from our environment, from chemicals, from drugs, from our age, etc. Now, whenever you speed this clock up, then we can utilize our food properly, we recover more quickly, we hydrate, we detox more efficiently from the chemicals and drugs, and we reverse or stop the aging process. And the proof I use to back this up is all the studies that we've seen SR9009 used for. We have seen SR9009 used to reverse hepatitis, diabetes, high cholesterol, pulmonary inflammation, which is in your lungs, pulmonary fibrosis, ulcerative colitis, that's your colon, these are all your heart, your uh, isot <laughs> different forms of heart disease from your mito mito mitochondrial infractions to your immunocyte re recruitment. It, these things that happen after a heart attack, generally speaking. Um, also, in your bones, osteoporosis, osteoclastogenesis, osteogenesis, in the pancreas, glucose-induced insulin secretion in B cells, glucagon secretion in A cells, immune, we have seen it tested to reverse COVID-19 even in stage 4, um, 
diabetic patients, stage four kidney failure um, diabetic patients, it still reversed COVID in like 80% of them. Um, we've seen it work for cancer. We've in all types of cancer. I mean, not like a cancer, but like, holy crap, almost every type of cancer in the metabolism. Um, it speeds up cellular reproduction, therefore speeds up metabolism, therefore obesity, hello, burning more calories. Um, in the muscles, sarcopenia or age-related muscle loss, yup. Alzheimer's, dementia. Now, how could one simple research chemical hit so many different areas? I mean, like everything they test this stuff with it benefits there's only one way because we're talking about the cellular reproduction and the circadian clock when we speed this process this does not speed aging but it brings you back to your prime think about it like this when we were a child when we were babies you healed more quickly. You developed kneecaps. Your bones actually grew until you were tall. You literally utilized your nutrients and foods more quickly. Became, they became more bioavailable and you were able to heal faster in every aspect. Now imagine putting your body back into that routine. That's what speeding up the circadian clock does. So, anyway, I thought that was rather interesting and the most basic way I could break down how SR9009 works. Now, I know this will probably get taken down. But remember, research chemicals are not for human consumption. They're not to be eaten. They're not to be snorted. They're not to be banged. They're not to be insulted. They're not to be um, given to your mother-in-law or used to attract the opposite sex. Never take research chemicals. They're not for you. They may cause bodily harm. Um, they are only for research purposes. And um, any other supplements I may have out here, those have not been evaluated by the FDA and are not intended to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure any disease or cause any disease. And they are not covered by GEICO. So if you like to do research, and you want to look into this, go to Google Scholar and just start looking at the information. That is SR9009, and you can purchase it at, at newsarms.com if you want the best product out there that is going to be 100%. And the oral, oral bioavailability of it, there's a lot of talk about that. Here's what happens is whenever you swallow something, the first place it hits is your liver. This has was originally made to speed up cellular reproduction in the liver, the bones, and the muscles, okay? So if it hits the liver first and your liver's jacked up, which like all of our livers are, that's what's where it's going to get used. Now, they say it's like 23% bioavailable when taking or look, everything you eat is only like 70%. That's not bad. And if you want to try to find it where you could directly input it, go for it. I ain't messing with it. Um, simply for health concern. But, like I said, for research purposes, newsarms.com, best possible product out there, y'all.